Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I want to show you how you can add animated icons to your videos. Now, what you see on the screen here is the animation I have. You know, it's a clip that I have at the end of all my videos here recently. And somebody asked me how I got these icons here to dance on the screen. So let me show you what she means by dancing on the screen. And I'll play this for you. See how they twirl? She wants to know how to get that done. So I'm going to show you today exactly how you can do it for yourself. But because I'm limited on the amount of space that I have here inside of Camtasia, what I'm going to do is we're going to move the screen around a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to move this section down and I'm going to delete all three icons and we're going to add them uh, to our video as we go. So the only thing I have left here right now is the title screen which you say you know it says please share thanks and what I want to do next is I want to incorporate images that I'm going to animate inside this so I'm going to click on the Facebook one and I'm going to drag it down the timeline and I'm going to click on the Google one and drag that down the timeline and even though my animation series has three I'm only going to use the two because I don't want us to run out of space to work with here so to get started we're going to put our cursor at the very beginning of the timeline here and actually at the very beginning of this particular clip we're going to move Facebook over and our Google image over and we're going to extend them for the length that equals the clip, the title clip here. I'm going to do that for both. And I'm going to highlight the Facebook one and I'm going to drag them down here so we can see them better on our screen. Now they're really tiny so we're going to have to enlarge them. And what's really cool about Camtasia is when you enlarge something, you know, it tells you exactly where a center point is on that file and when you put another file next to it it's going to show you how you can make them both the same size so you can make sure that they're even okay let's see how are you on the bottom eh looks good right now right <laughs> it could be worse so I'm going to move these over here it's okay so what happens here when we put the starting marker we're telling Camtasia right now when this reaches this starting point, this is where I want my images to show on the screen. So now we have to tell Camtasia what we want these images to do at the end of the clip. So we're going to move our marker to the very end of the clip. We're going to highlight the Facebook one, which doesn't show you the icon, but it shows you where it is on the screen. And we're going to go over here to the properties, the visual properties, and we're going to click Add Animation. Okay, we'll bring this back over here and show you exactly what it did. Now when we added animation, it added this blue bar. So we're going to drag that all the way to the beginning, and now we're going to add animation to the Google one. So we're going to go back over here, we're going to click that Add Animation button again, and that should put a blue bar inside of our Google Plus and it did so let's drag that one all the way to the very beginning. So the next thing we have to do is we have to tell Camtasia what we want these images to do through this animation sequence. So I'm going to tell it that I want my Facebook image to go clockwise once twice three times. Now you see how that yellow line shows at the bottom that you know that your image is exactly where it needs to be. For the Google one, let's highlight Google now and tell it to twirl in the opposite direction. So we're going to tell it once, twice, three times. So let's play this now and show you exactly what happened. Facebook is going clockwise and the G Plus is going counterclockwise and that's exactly what we told the animation to do. Now the really cool thing about this is if you don't like both of them to be playing at the same time, you can change the animation here by extending or shortening the timeline, you know, the uh, animation clip. So let's show you what happens when we shorten the one 
on Google, but leave the Facebook one where it was at. So you go back here and play this again. So Google will stop its animation sequence now, and Facebook will continue until the very, very end. So it's really cool. This feature really comes in handy. You can do a lot with it. You can make your images uh, come in from the top part of the screen and float all over the place. Lots and lots of interesting things that you could do with this animation inside of Camtasia Studio 8. So if there's anything else that you'd like to know, leave a comment below this video and let me know and I'll make you another video. Until then, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.